I enjoy many things about my science, but I think the idea of asking interesting questions, interrogating uh, brain tissue to figure out what the mechanisms of the actions, in my case of alcohol, on the reward system, and then getting answers to those questions and then asking more questions to delve deeper. I, I like that part of science. My name is Mark Brody. I'm a professor in the Department of Physiology and Biophysics at the University of Illinois in Chicago. We have a couple of foci of uh, the lab work right now. So uh, we're looking mainly at the physiology and molecular biology of the neurons of the ventral tegmental area. They provide dopamine uh, to other parts of the brain, and dopamine is very involved in reward and reinforcement. So we're studying how alcohol acutely affects these neurons and how chronic alcohol changes the physiology of the neurons and how that might be regulated by epigenetic mechanisms like histone modification. Well, one interesting aspect is that we do see significant physiological changes as a result of chronic alcohol in our rodent models. And we can treat them with histone deacetylase inhibitors to actually normalize the tissue responses to some of the uh, changes that are altered by chronic alcohol. So we actually can reverse those changes. And if we can show in our rodent models and we can show in humans that it does the same thing, we actually have a way to reverse the brain changes that are induced by chronic alcohol and give some hope to people who are trying to not be alcoholics.